I'm going to real time show you how to fix Internet Explorer so that it does not open in Edge. Hi, everybody. So I just ran into an interesting problem that I um, think a lot of people are going to have. Um, found a solution for it among all of the scammy, uh, clickbaity, not solutions, and uh, too old of solutions, to Internet Explorer not opening anymore. So everybody knows that Microsoft is sunsetting Internet Explorer. They're going to get rid of it. They're going to forcibly remove it from our computers. I don't know if there's any way to stop it in the future, but some people need Internet Explorer. Um, I have some older security cameras that the web plugin uh, only works with Internet Explorer. Now, I did find out recently that it does work with uh, Edge in Internet Explorer mode, but there's layers of complexity in that, that you have to relaunch it in Internet Explorer mode, and then um, when you set it to always relaunch in Internet Explorer mode, it, that setting will expire one month from when you set it. Really obnoxious. There's no way to configure my security cameras unless I'm in Internet Explorer. So for now, it's been for a while where you open up Internet Explorer and it relaunches into Edge. The old solution was that you go into your three dot settings, go to settings for Edge, you go to default browser, and under default browser, you can, there was a setting here that said, allow Edge to open, uh, or allow sites to be open in Internet Explorer, something like that. Whatever that setting is, it's gone. It's no longer here. So we need to come up with a different solution for this now, because you open up Internet Explorer, it goes right to Edge. So I looked around on the internet, I'm trying to find a solution, and there's a bunch of scammy solutions out there, a bunch of clickbaity stuff. Nothing is telling you what to do correctly. It's telling you to go into control panel, go into something else, and when you click on the learn more, it opens up in Internet Explorer and it doesn't get canceled by Edge. And it's a bunch of stupid garbage about, about all this. This is, I'm gonna real time show you how to fix uh, Internet Explorer so that it does not open in Edge. This solution works now. This is uh, February 22nd, 2023. It works now. It's probably going to be changed or uh, Internet Explorer might be gone by the next Windows update. Don't know. But for now, this is what you can do. So I'm going to show you. You open up uh, Windows Explorer, your file explorer, and we're going to go to the C drive, and then we're going to go to the Program Files x86, Microsoft. And now here, there's a specific directory that it's loading from, but they're, the same files are in different spots. So I'm going to search in this directory for IE underscore two underscore E D G E. Going to search for that. And all of these files here, these are the files that um, Edge is loading, reading, something, whatever. I don't know how it interacts with Internet Explorer, that this is what's causing uh, Edge to open when you open Internet Explorer. So uh, some people will tell you to just delete these um, from one specific direct directory too. Let's change the view here. If we look at the directories that they're in, it might have been Edge Web View. It doesn't matter. What I'm going to do is you can delete all of these files. I don't like doing something as um, permanent as deleting them. So what I'm going to do is rename every single one of these files. I'm going to put a dot old after every single one of them. And you're going to get warnings that you need to be an administrator. Make sure you're logged into an administrator account when you do this. That was two warnings letting me know that it will become unusable or may become unusable. And I need administrator privileges. So there we go. These now these might get rearmed. They might get reinstalled. Uh, you might have to go back in here and do this again, at a further update. But now that we've uh, changed all the names of them, we come back to here. We're going to open up Internet Explorer, and Internet Explorer stays open. Ta-da! It's that easy.
So now I can log into my security cameras, I can uh, configure them, and I don't have to worry about uh, resetting settings every single month or anything like that. So hopefully Internet Explorer will stay there. Maybe we can um, reinstall it afterwards. Or I, I have no idea. I might have to sit, switch back to uh, like an old version of Mozilla uh, or something like that. Just because uh, the, the uh, web components plugin that runs the, the video and everything for Hikvision, the old Hikvision cameras, does not work in Edge or Chrome or anything else. It does work in Edge in uh, the new Internet Explorer mode, but that setting expires. That's really obnoxious. So I'm going to keep holding on to uh, Internet Explorer as long as I can. I hope this helps any of you, and I really hope that you're not using Internet Explorer for your daily browsing. Because this, this is not safe. People can hack this too easily. It's not secured. It's not updated. Don't use it for anything but internal stuff.